Turn, if you will, to the first chord progression listed, which is C, A minor, D minor 7th, G 7th. It's the famous Blue Moon chord progression, the famous Heart and Soul chord progression, that we want Cantor chord, chord progression that's used a zillion times in a zillion songs. We all did as kids. what that is, okay? C to A minor, or A minor 7th, D minor 7th to G 7th, okay? And there's really thousands and thousands of songs that use that chord progression, not only Heart and Soul, not only Blue Moon, but lots and lots and lots of songs. And not only that, you can use it uh, uh, in a turnaround at the end of a phrase to get on to the next phrase. In other words, well watch me uh, do that on chord progression now watch this what did I do one six two five right so we use that chord progression right there one six two five now what you need to do is learn that in all keys and then break up the chords okay now you can start out very simply just by taking the notes of the C chord and breaking them up if you're a beginner. A minor breaking it up, D minor breaking it up, G7 breaking it up. Okay? And if you can break it up, then you can break it down. notes at random out of those those four chords. That's all I'm doing. See that? Now you should be able to do that in all keys though, not just the key of C because the mathematics are the same from key to key, aren't they? It's the one chord, and then it's the six chord. Why do I call that six chord? Because if I count it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, it would be the sixth degree of the scale. And after that, the two chord, and then the five chord, okay? So if I move it, say, to the key of F, now we have F is the one chord. What's the six chord? One, two, three, four, five, six, D minor. What's the two chord? G minor. Why minor? Because remember, we're in, we're in the key of F now, and that has a B flat in it. And then what's the five chord? C. So in the key of F, it would be F, D minor, G minor seventh, C. Once again, F, D minor seventh, G minor seventh. It doesn't matter how you know you can you can wrap uh, all kinds of color tones around that. You don't have to just deal with those triads. If that makes you uh, ill, if, if that's too simple, then you know put put some put some wrap some chords around a lot. Here I'm having major sevenths and ninths, suspensions, or if that's too if that's too schmaltzy, then then put some blues in it. progression's the same no matter how you how you dress it up. But, um, the next chord progression we're going to consider is uh, uses uh, a diminished seventh chord and it moves up chromatically from the one chord to the uh, uh, raised one or the flat two however you want to view it. I view it as the raised one and then two five. In other words it's the same progression as this with one exception. Instead of the sixth chord, 
is the one chord raised, and it's a diminished seventh chord. So we have the C chord, and then C diminished seventh chord. C diminished seventh is a four note chord, by the way. C sharp, E, G, and B flat. And then, from then on, it's the same. Two chord, five chord. So you have this feeling. key of F then it would be F, F sharp diminished, G minor 7th, in the key of G, G, G uh, sharp diminished, A minor 7th, C, uh, I'm G 7th, okay? In the key of E flat, it would be E flat, E diminished 7th, F minor 7th, B flat. So do that in all keys.